Right, I'm here in front of um, CJV300 uh, plus model from Mimaki. Uh, today I would, I would like to show quickly you know, how a uh, nozzle check unit, the NCU unit works for uh, an automatic nozzle check and the nozzle recovery. The first of all, I'd like to show you how you temporarily uh, recover the nozzle. So in the first thing in the morning, if you check uh, the nozzle condition and if it's missing, so and the uh, nozzle is not recoverable, you know what to do. So first of all, uh, let me run the uh, test print here. Right, it's gonna print a nozzle next to uh, the previous one and it will, pre it will post a feed for the confirmation. So on this um, the test print, the nozzle check pattern, you can see one missing nozzle on light magenta and one missing on the top of magenta on the, the second hand, the first head and second head. <clears throat> so if those nozzles are not recoverable with a the cleaning, there's a way to manually uh, disable the rim of the nozzle. This is what we call a nozzle recovery. So to proceed the nozzle recovery for temporarily, you can go to a uh, maintenance menu and select nozzle recovery. You need to print a confirmation pattern to make sure that and confirm which nozzle number and which nozzle portion is missing from the pattern to uh, the input the number of the nozzle for uh, you know, printer's auto remapping. So to do this, print, select print and uh, select head two because head two is missing uh, you know, one nozzle in the magenta and light magenta. So printing a test pattern now. So the nozzle recovery pattern will print uh, you know, uh, the different pattern in order to be able to check the individual missing nozzle. So here you can check from a left hand side magenta, cyan yellow, black, light cyan, light magenta, and these are whites. So these are the eight channels of a print from head two. So as you can see here, the, there's a missing nozzle on top of magenta, which is the nozzle number is 180. So what we do is on a display, Select uh, you know, head to dash A, which is the first channel, which is magenta. And you enter the number, you know, change from off to 180, which is uh, you know, the missing number. If it's missing more than two nozzles a channel, you can just keep entering the number. Doesn't matter if you enter more the you know, higher number in the, uh, in the top or lower number in the top, because the machine will automatically uh, scan which is lowest number and highest number. All right, following to that, let's go for the, uh, uh, the channel F for uh, light magenta. So for light magenta, around the middle, it's missing um, the 112, 112, the nozzle 112. So in light magenta, uh, yeah, it's already entered, so 112, which is good. And then after entering this, the machine uses automatic remapping for the printing. So no worries about you know, the printing while missing nozzles uh, is occurring. I would like to show you how you, um, how you set up a nozzle check unit 
and uh, nozzle recovery system, both automatic. So most of our MIMA kit's graphic printer, the roll-to-roll uh, roll -roll printer, the JV and the CJV and the UCJV series, um, the machine has the automatic nozzle check unit in order to check the, uh, you know, the live print head condition um, automatically. So the, this video is explaining you how you set the, uh, the automatic nozzle check and nozzle recovery. So when you have, even you have a perfect nozzle test, nozzle condition, however, when you are running while at midnight and unattended without any operators, you are concerned about the uh, nozzles may come back, uh, come, may come back and go, you know, during the you know, production printing. So that case, um, the, the function is for the uh, uh, checking the nozzle, uh, nozzle condition and uh, in order to you know, remap the nozzle when it's missing. So in order to use this function, first you need to go to a control panel and go to nozzle check. The nozzle check, you have a two minutes printing check and auto nozzle recovery. So you need to set the both on. For printing check, set it on. That way it's active and it's asking you for the, uh, how often you want to check. Check interval, you can check the you know, frequency of a nozzle check by you know, the number of the file or job, number of the job, or you know, length of the job, uh, set as a you know, number of the file. Otherwise, you can select uh, you know, the length. The machine doesn't check the, uh, um, the nozzle while printing, but in case if you set a length for every 10 meters, if you run you know, the 12 meters job, the machine will check after 12 meters job is finished. At this moment, I would like to just demo uh, the, how the nozzle check, uh, nozzle, uh, nozzle check unit and uh, nozzle recovery system works. I will just set up uh, the length, uh, sorry, the file, and number of the file. as every, each file, every single file, so you can see how it works from the video. The continue condition, uh, con, uh, con, um, continuation of printing, the do a continue. Otherwise, it will stop when the missing nozzle happens. Select the action. Um, this is to set up, you know, when the machine um, find a, found a missing nozzle, the machine will actually try at least one cleaning to, make, to, you know, to try if a missing nozzle comes back. So you can tell what cleaning to use, what cleaning mode to use from a soft, normal, and hard. So let, let's just leave it in soft. Retry count. I only want one cleaning before, reco uh, before a nozzle remapping recovery, auto recovery. So I will just leave it zero. For auto nozzle recovery, set it on. And then let's print. You have a you know, remote, right? So I will show you while it's printing. Once the print finished, let's see how it works. All right, this moment, the carriage, the printed carriage just came out from a, um, from a capping station to check the nozzle condition for uh, you know, the each single channels.
So at this time, it's checking individual nozzles here for first head, and then it comes out for second head as well. And if it's missing the, you know, the certain amount of the nozzle, it will do self-cleaning first and checks again. Otherwise, it will continue printing with a uh, um, nozzle recovery. The nozzle recovery is auto remapping, and uh, you know, there is no sacrifice of the uh, print speed. So printer speed stays as is. Thanks for watching.